This audio presentation is brought to you by imaginationandfaith.com. To download tons of free books, audiobooks and audio lectures by Neville Goddard, please visit our website at www.imaginationandfaith.com. To begin, I'd like to make one thing clear. I have never used anything but Neville's techniques in the realization of my earthly desires. More specifically, I have only used the technique of sensory vividness and enactment of scenes. Unfortunately, by beginning my post with that, I fear that I will turn away many people that have either tried this technique and failed or believe they do not contain the ability to visualize in the way Neville teaches. Because of this restriction, I'd like to make a few things clear. I don't believe in the overcomplication of concepts this subreddit and some members of this subreddit have created over the past few years. If you were here when I originally began posting in late 2017, you, like myself, notice a stark difference in the terms and techniques people peddle here. It may work for few, but I believe the simple technique that Neville taught work for all. Some question how this process works, or what is necessary to gain results. I'll tell you exactly what and how results are achieved, and it's painfully simple, total self-persuasion. You must completely believe that you have what you desire and that it is a reality now. Many people will look at that prerequisite to attaining your earthly desires as the largest obstacle known to mankind, but I'd like to soothe your worries. I've said this before, but I'll give it a greater emphasis now, self-persuasion is a gift from God if you do the technique. Sin is defined as not attaining your goals, not being the man slash woman you want to be. The only way you could ever sin is if you do not believe you are the person you want to be right now. I don't believe in any other technique or interpretation of Neville's techniques other than the one I outline in this post. That's for one simple reason, I truly believe that for the majority of people, you are not able to complete the one requirement, self-persuasion, with these other techniques, be it saying a phrase to yourself as you fall asleep or thinking about the person you want to be a few moments during the day. This may have worked for Neville or few people in his case histories, but that is only because they have years and years, in many cases, decades, of success with the law that they have unwavering faith in its pervasiveness and power. I am going to tell you what has worked for me, if you have another technique that works for you, congrats. But for most people, this original technique that Neville shared is one that I believe the majority of people will find success with. It has never taken longer than two weeks from starting the technique for a certain goal for me to see the start of harvest, and no longer than one month total to see full realization of a goal. I have had countless times where it has taken less than 12 hours to see the full realization of a goal, of which the majority of that time is time that I slept. It may sound counterintuitive, but stop reading Neville, listening to Neville or visiting this subreddit after you read this post. I fear that many keep being a hearer of the law in an attempt to find some magic end-all technique and never actually practice the law. Like Neville has said countless times, actual practice benefits you far more than hearing ever will. Yes. The law is as simple as it seems, don't overcomplicate it. Now on to the simple and perfect technique. Know exactly what you want. Not a general idea, but something specific and exact that perfectly reflects your true desire. If you want your dream body, know what it will look like. If you want a certain sum of money, know how much down to the dollar. If you want a partner, know who you want. If you want a certain job, know exactly what you would do and where you would work, etc. Ask yourself what you would be feeling if you were who you want to be right now. By feeling it is meant an innate level of awareness. Where would your mind be if you were the person you wanted to be? How would you think in relation to the world in your new state? Create a scene that would imply that you have already achieved your goal and that it is in the past. Something that you can add sensory vividness and tones of reality to. Get ready for bed before the time you usually become sleepy and get ready to induce a sleepy state. Lie in your bed and calm yourself. Many years ago I suggested that you put your hands underneath your butt to focus on something to induce the state, but practice has taught me that, personally, I can get in a drowsy state best by lying down in a fetal position. If you have not been successful in using this technique, I suggest putting yourself in a position where you do not usually fall asleep in, for example, if you usually fall asleep by sleeping on your left side, lie on your back, and vice versa. As you induce this sleepy state, you'll notice a floating feeling, one that is both physical and mental. Keep your mind clear, but do not become so drowsy that you fall asleep. 
Something that I've noticed while applying this law throughout the years is I feel that can I just imagine random things to get into a drowsy state to begin my scene, this is a trap. And more likely than not, you do this every night and it is a habit of yours. For me, whenever I do this I always fall asleep before I can even think to begin my scene. Do not become distracted. Calm yourself with the intent of doing your scene and do not let your mind wander on other things. Begin enacting your scene, and begin enacting it in first person. While it will not be as vivid as the room you are in now, it does not matter. Yes, you heard me right, your scene does not need to become as vivid as the life you are living right now to become a reality. Continue enacting your scene and focus on a new detail each time you loop it. If you cannot add tones of reality and sensory vividness in the beginning, use a trick I've used in the past, tell yourself what you're seeing is real, narrate what is in front of you and what you are touching and feel that it is true and real. There is no way I can explain the feeling other than pretending that what you are imaging right now is real. Just try it. Don't worry about if you're applying it right, just imagine that it is true. Just think that you are seeing what you want to see. Keep yourself in this scene and do not worry about anything else. Remain faithful to this scene by repeating it over and over. Soon, you will actually feel as if you are in the place you imagine, and eventually, you will fall asleep in that state. If you worry about not being able to fall asleep or think about how alert you are, you will stay alert and unable to fall asleep. Focus on the scene and making it as real as possible. If you kept the scene repeating and legitimately tried adding as much sensory vividness as possible, you should wake up with a feeling that it is done, this is the gift from God I was speaking about earlier. If you do not have this feeling, imagine that you do and continue the process the next night. Experience has taught me, however, that if you legitimately try the technique to the best of your abilities, you will wake up with this feeling of your desire already existing. This is the technique that I employ, and as of late, I have never woken up without the feeling that it is done. The most important thing is to try. Continually try and try to do the best that you can. Don't worry about reading Neville during the day and fear that you have missed something. Just do the technique at night and be amazed at how quickly your world changes. As always, please give me questions down below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. I will also create a post of all of my notable successes soon, including creating a white label health and wellness business here in Greece and making at least $25,000 a month even with COVID-19 impacting business here. I'm on track to personally profit $45,000 this month, and I expect even higher profits once I can open physical locations. Remember, you are God, which makes you the operant power. You need to use your power in order to succeed. Stop worrying that you're missing something and just use IT.